like any relationship to like our land and the plants growing out of it. Um, but in so many cases, we're like really disconnected from it, right? So we say, oh, I'm not feeling well. I know that there might be an extract or something. I'm gonna go to Walmart and get it or Rite Aid or whatever. Um, and convenience is cool, um, but you end up having less and less agency over what's being put into your body, um, over what's part of your medicine, and over just your own process of healing. So I think women of color having a relationship to land, having a relationship to their medicine, um, to the plants that are there to heal them is deeply, deeply important. Okay? Beatbox Botanicals, a local community and love-minded healing practitioner group, teamed up with the Black Woman's Blueprint, a civil and human rights organization, to present Harriet's Apothecary Summer Edition. The program, which went from noon to 7 p.m., offered various healing practices such as herbalism, essential oil therapy, breathwork, and more to women of color, queer, and transgender persons. Ricky Stevens, a guest at the event talked to us about Reiki, a healing practice she tried for the first time. Through the whole like thing, um, I started crying like midway, which was really interesting, which is like not what I was expecting. And afterwards, um, I kind of felt a little heavy, so I just sat in, and you know, like she let me like talk and whatever. And then ap afterwards, like after all of that, I felt really, really light. Um, and hopeful because now I know like myself more and how to take care of myself more so it's very very helpful so. Shamelia a healer at the event spoke about the afterbirth healing practices she learned from her grandmother she would like wrap you in all kinds of like it was a I said, this is magic <laughs> if you take a bath and a special thing of herbs after you give birth and then you have to drink a certain mixture of herbs and then you have to um like get like gauze or something and dip it in herbs and wrap it and it was a steam that you sat over to like help you get things out of your body like after you've given birth and after birth and stuff. Healing practices showcased at the event are in fact ancient medicines that have been used in the historic cultures of people of color. However, recently these healing practices have gained popularity, especially with yoga and acupuncture. Unfortunately, the result of this is the increase of prices for healing practices, making it financially inaccessible for everyday people. Even worse, by labeling these practices as trendy activities, the origins of these healing practices become culturally irrelevant. Harriet's Apothecary intended to continue the healing legacy of the people of color's ancestors. This includes Harriet Tubman, which the event was named after. Adaku Uta, the main organizer of the event, talks to us about Harriet Tubman's work as a healer. Hey, Harriet Tubman, yeah. and I saw her in addition to that, she was also a healer. She was also a nurse. She was a healer. And she utilized plant allies to support people's freedom you know, in their bodies. And her um, vigilance, her commitment, her connection to not only her community, but also her community of plant allies um, to build intimacy between folks of color, you know, black folks, and the plant world. It's really, really inspiring. Young people can solve this issue by contacting healers for their health problems rather than consumerism products. By spreading awareness of these healing practices to the community of color and encouraging others to participate, people of color, especially women, will be able to embrace their culture and return to their roots. By helping to financially secure these healers by bringing in more customers, we can ensure that these healing practices will continue into the future.